What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Let's get right into it, man. Um, this guy, Vlad, um, he needs to be uh, excommunicated from our culture. Uh, he, he has gotten way too comfortable frolicking and freelancing through our culture and being bold enough to just talk his talk as it relates to black entertainers and rappers or whoever it is. He has been, as we all know, it's just it's a broken record. He has been the main catalyst of, of mess and controversy and, and slander and lies um, to members of the black community in, in the in, in entertainment industry and outside of the entertainment industry. And he's been unapologetic in doing so. Um, he's built his fortune. He's built his wealth and his millions off of black culture. And <clears throat> it would be one thing to build your wealth off of on the backs of black culture because basically the whole world's done that anyway. But it's another thing to do it all while um, creating controversy and, and mess and slander and, and um, leading uh, some of us who may not be as sharp as we need to be in those situations or as in tune to, um, to self-incriminate and get locked up and, 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 and even get killed in some instances. Um, this guy is now going at Marlon Wayans because Marlon Wayans made a, 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 a $40,000 I'll come on your platform. That's what he told him. And I think that's more than fair based on what you've been able to um, blood suck from our community. Um, the, the very, maybe not Marlon necessarily, but uh, many of our great, great uh, artists and entertainers and just black figures who have come on your platform and contributed to the success of it, you've generated enough to where you can break that off, you know, and I know that may sound a little strange to some of y'all who may not know where I'm coming from, but the fact of the matter is, uh, this guy's taking shots at, at people like Shannon Sharp and his platform and anybody who feel he feels is a threat to, uh, to his success and his pimping um he's gonna come at him he's gonna try because he feels like hey i own these n-words i have the market cornered on these n-words when i call them they come and they do um but at the end of the day you don't have the market cornered on us bro you don't own black people you don't own black culture i know your privilege makes you think you do but you really don't You've been disrespectful on so many levels. I can think of several occasions where you should have been exed out. You should have been moved to the side uh, by the black community. But um, we still have some, 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 some cleaning up to do in our own minds in terms of our, our understanding on how to uh, truly cancel. Because we, um, we have this thing where we, we have no problem canceling each other. But those who absolutely need to be shut down and canceled, we're a little slow to do that. Or we will prioritize the look that we'll get from being on that platform over our cause. We have that bad. And that's something that we got to work on. And it's something that we are working on um, as a whole. And eventually we'll get there. But in the meantime, you know, this guy is so brazen. He's so bold that he feels like he can come out and he can disrespect legends. Um, he could disrespect even the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. You know, he, he's that brazen and that bold the way he can do that and, um, and, think that he, and think that he's getting away with it. So I'm not on here to try to appeal to people that don't go on the show and all this. You know, I don't even know who will see this to, to, to even receive that message. That's not my message. I'm, my message is more one of um, self-respect self-respect and self-respect does not 100 percent mean you as an individual you as an individual self-respect represents if i as an individual see you being placed in a position where you're being disrespected or things of that nature or somebody has um done and carried out an injustice towards you and you my brother or my sister then I am going to take the initiative to say, well, I'm not going to support that cat who's disrespecting you. 
that's a form of self-respect because we are one. So that's what my message is in terms of this video. I think that anyone who has uh, been around this situation for the longest with Vlad, we already know how he get down. And uh, a day will come where he will be shut down. Um, I don't know how it'll happen, but a, a day will come because I just believe, you know, we're gonna we're gonna wake up one day and, and not allow that anymore. But a lot of these platforms that are starting to come up and gain popularity, you got a bunch of great platforms out there that are run by black um, content creators, and that's his fear. Trust and believe that is his fear. He don't want to lose his n words. And that's what it all boils down to. But that day is coming because now as these other platforms start to grow, then I would think that a lot of our black entertainers, athletes, activists, whoever you name, will start to say, well, you know, I can get the same look with my brother or with my sister as opposed to this guy whose reputation has already shown that he don't really care about us. See, if, you, if you're going to a restaurant or a store and the people that you're spending your money with, they're not respecting you, then you would be foolish to keep going. You know, so you get on, you get on this platform and say, okay, well, it's going to be a good look. But the look is not worth this guy asking you disrespectful questions. This guy trying to set you up or uh, create controversy with somebody else in your field. and by, though, That's what he wants because he understands that that's the type of content that gets clicks, that gets views. We got to stop falling for that. We got to stop falling for that. And again, he's real comfortable disrespecting legends. You know, Marlon Wayans is a legend. His whole family are legends. And we have to get behind our brothers and sisters. You know, some people say, well, oh, man, I ain't getting behind certain people because they ain't with the black community either and this and that and that. And I understand all that. But at the end of the day, we can't let the, uh, the blood suckers uh, destroy any of us. We can't let the blood suckers destroy. We still have to come to the defense of our brothers and sisters and if they don't if they don't understand it or accept that defense then then that's on them. But any chance I get to go at this guy is you, you, is it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen because I think he's been one of the biggest poisons to our community and in and, and in this entertainment and social media world these platforms that instantly uh, put all eyes on these situations, man. It's very dangerous when you got a guy like this roaming around comfortably, comfortably doing what he's doing and feeling like he's entitled to do it. He feel like ain't nothing wrong with what he's doing. Or if he does feel like there's something wrong with it, he, he don't care. It doesn't matter. Um, he's childish, he's sensitive, and he's insecure. Frankly, because if there's a platform that has nothing to do with me and 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 they're thriving, you know, my brother, sister, they thriving, <clears throat> you know, hey, that's fine. Or whoever. It could be anybody. If they're thriving in a way that's not out of pocket, hey man, cool. Have at it. So don't get mad at Shannon because the, the Cat Williams interview got the views that it got. Don't get mad at this guy because it got he got the interview that you couldn't get. Come on, man. But, again, we know the devil that we're dealing with. 